What do we have here? It's a signed document from John Hancock. That is neat. Still wearing the wig. People would shave their heads, they'd put on the wigs, and they wouldn't have no critters that way. What the hell are critters? It's like lice and things like that. Is that why you shave your head? I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my document that was signed by John Hancock. I inherited it from my dad. Since it's signed by John Hancock, I know it's got to be worth a lot of money. It says, His Excellency John Hancock Esquire. He was the governor of Massachusetts. And it says, Abel Boynton is being commissioned as a captain in the uh, militia. And it's got the John Hancock signature, the uh, classic one that's on the Declaration of Independence. By saying, hey, we're not going to follow the King of England anymore, uh -huh. that was treason. It was punishable by death. They basically signed their own death warrant. The amazing thing was, he just didn't sign it. He emblazoned it mm. across the Declaration of Independence. So right. This is why he's the most famous signature in American history. Mm -hmm. 56 people signed the Declaration of Independence. But the one signature that stands out, John Hancock. I had another Hancock document come in a while ago, but we couldn't make a deal. And I've been kicking myself ever since. We got um, His Excellency's Command. I don't know who this is right here. What is this right here? That's a wax seal. What they do is they put hot wax down, put a piece of paper over it, and then press a seal into it. Back then, there was no phone, there was no telegraph, there was nothing, and you wanted to make sure the document was legitimate, and this legitimized it right there. These were very hard to fake. John Hancock was a great patriot and a key figure in the American Revolution, but I have no idea who Abel Boynton was. As much as I'm ready to put down some serious money for this, before I do, I need to know everything about it. What were you looking to do with it? I'd like to sell it. I don't have room. I mean, this looks like John Hancock's signature. My big concern here is he's the governor of one of the most populous states in the union. He's got a lot of things to do every day. And back then, it was pretty common practice for your secretary to sign everything for you. So if you don't mind me having someone come in here, check it out, just make sure everything's legit. No, I don't have a problem with that okay. at all. Even if this is signed by a secretary, being this old, it's worth some money. Okay. I'm gonna go make a phone call, I'll be right back. All right, thank you so much. The last Hancock document to come in was later in his life, and the signature was shaky. This is the big one everyone knows. I'm just crossing my fingers that it checks out because I'm dying to make an offer. Hey, Dana, how's it going? Rick and company usually call me in whenever there's something of historic importance. They need authenticated and valuation thereof. Well, this is beautifully framed. So, Rick, what are your concerns about this particular document? My big concern is I want to make sure this is John Hancock's signature. And also, I don't think this is anybody right here, but I don't know enough about this thing. OK, so let's take a little closer look. It's dated the 17th day of September, 1787. This is John Avery, secretary. Okay. That's what that says. And so he is endorsing this entire document. It's spilled in to an Abel Boynton. Wow. This document is more important than perhaps you have any idea. Really? April 19th. 1775. You've heard of the Battle of Lexington and Concord. All the Minutemen from the surrounding countryside, including Abel Boynton, came under fire from the British and fought to defend America. And the day the shot heard around the world was heard, he was there that day, starting off the Revolutionary War. That's really exciting. This is a great document, giving him a captain's commission later on, probably for his earlier services during the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Well, even though the document is framed, uh, I could tell that the ink from the signature of John Hancock is laying on top of the paper. And so it's not, you know, something that's printed. The paper is on period handmade laid paper. The typesetting is like many others I've seen in the past. So after looking at this and examining all those aspects, I would say that this document is absolutely authentic and real. Really? Yeah. Cool, all right. Yeah. All right. So what do you think it's worth? This signature of John Avery as secretary, John Hancock authenticating it, made out to Abel Boynton, I think it's worth easily Ten to $15,000. Wow. Man, you hit the jackpot. 
When I found out that it could be worth up to $15,000, I, I couldn't believe it. I had no idea I was holding on to something that could be worth that much money. So how much you want for it? I want $8,000 for it. <sighs> it's obviously worth it after what your expert said. It's worth a lot of money. You can more than take the risk yourself and put this in an auction somewhere and see what you get, or I can pay you $4,000 right now. No risk, no nothing, you ha you're paid. Right, well, 4000 is not enough. You need to bump it up a little bit. Well, how much more do you need? 6500 45 55 I'll give you five grand, and I can't do no more. Okay, you got a deal. Okay. I'm so happy I got $5,000 for it. Uh, I know my dad would be so happy and excited for me. I'm just thrilled.